Okay, today I'm going to look at the Galaxy Notebook. I'm going to put them together. And as a reference, I've left my 10.1-inch uh, 2014 Galaxy Note and my Galaxy Note Edge phone. So here's the Galaxy Book. This is the 10.6-inch, 64-gig, 4-gigabytes RAM. The smaller one. And I'm going to take it apart and put it together. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, time to travel. Put it back away. I like to keep all my stuff together. Okay, and here's the case. So let's see, any anything I need to take off of it? All right. And then we've got the other case right here. Let's take this out. First time opening it up. It's quite simple. Just a little... Uh, Sticky on one side. Pull out the keypad. Let's put that back in there. Okay, so here's the here's the keypad. Here's the key keyboard. There's the lock-in device. So let's go ahead and put that in. Oh, just a really snaps on really good. I just got near it and just look how it did it. I just watched right here, look at that. Just just sticks right in there. And there it is. That is the Galaxy Book, the small version. And like I told you in the video before, you know, like I said, I'm not the guy who puts this on my lap. This is gonna sit on my desk. And when I have it on my desk, I'm going to have a mouse right here, and I'm going to be fiddling with these letters right here. Because that's how I work in Maya, in 3D software, and that's also how I work in Photoshop. In any art programs, usually you, you function these keys here, and you have a mouse. Now, of course, with this one, I'm going to have the pen. So, I'll put that together, and I'm going to load some programs onto this. But, this one is all ready. All I have to do now is charge it. So this is the first one. It's a little bit bigger than the 10.1. Just a tad bit bigger than the note, the previous note. And this is a full PC, which is really incredible. I can carry this around and that's my laptop right there. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this here. And let's go to the next one. Put that away. Put this out to the side. And let's get the next one over. So this is the awesome. Now here we are. This is the bigger one. This is the top of the line one, the 12 inch. 8 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes hard drive, um, SSD. So we got the same thing here. I'm gonna pull this out. Take this off. Slides right out. And keep this in the box for because I'm a little I'm a little weird like that. I like to keep all my stuff together in case I need to package it, put it away, take it for a trip, whatever. So I've got some plastic down here on the top. I'll be removing that. And there's the really Slim, really thin, you know, you got the two ports, you've got the eight, one eighth inch there, you've got your SIM tray, I mean, uh, my SSD, micro SSD, these are the speakers on either side, I've heard they're pretty good, and this is a fan up here, I, b I believe these are two microphone ports, 
I'm not sure. I'll have to find out what they are. And then over here is your power and your volume. And let's look at the other one. The difference with this one is you only get one port here. You have one port, then you have your micro SD, speaker here, speaker here, nothing on this side. Over here is your 1 8 inch, and then this is your USB C. And then again, we've got two little, probably microphones here, hopefully. And this is, uh, you know, the power on and then the volume locker. So that's that one over there. And then let's look at this case. Here's the keyboard. You know, once again, I'm just so glad that we got everything together. You get the whole deal. You get the the two-in-one laptop, you get the keyboard stand, and you get the pen, and you get a fast charger, which is just really great. I really like the fast charger on my Note Edge because it is so fast in charging. I really wish the Note, this one had a fast charger, but you know, this was back in 2014, so they didn't think about that, apparently. Here's the keyboard. Again, these are really, really slim, kind of to the point, you know, not more than needed. I think the idea is just to keep everything just nice and compact, easy to transport. Let's see how this magnet goes on. There you are. See, it just pulled it right up. Pulled it right up, stuck on. There's a the keyboard right there. And there you have it. This is the top one. This is the little one. So this is the one I'm going to take out when I want to go out somewhere. This is the one I'm going to keep home. Of course, I can take them both out, which is great. But this is the big power one. This is the kind of the satellite is what I'm going to do. And then this is my 10.1 over here. So that's it for this uh, installment. We've got the laptop ready. Like I said again, uh, this 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 stand is just is it, fine with me because basically this is what I want. I want it covered here, and I want it covered here. Now some people were you know were talking about even Samsung talks about you can draw on it like this you know put it like this and then lay it flat. I'm not going to do that because first of all I don't like it resting on these keys. I don't like putting these kind of this a keypad which is a bad idea. Uh, a keyboard laying it on a table at a coffee shop or anywhere that's not what I'm gonna do even my own table because if I'm gonna lay this down on a table I'm gonna wipe that table clean over and over and even still you know putting it on a table dragging it whatever you're gonna wear down these keys a bit and you're gonna get some scuff marks and you're gonna I don't know I don't know what can happen maybe it's durable but I'm not gonna find out because I'm never gonna do this I'm never going to put this down like this to draw on. If I'm going to use the tablet, I'm going to take it out. This is only going to be for if I need to use it like a like a PC, like a like a laptop. So there you are. That's both of them right there. I'm going to try to work on see how these stands work, but that's fine for me. If it's on a desk, that's all I need, you know. So these are the two, the 12 inch, 12, and the 10.6 Samsung Galaxy Books. And uh, what I'm going to do is some other reviews and I'm going to load some software and get back to you on how well these work and what kind of things I can do.